All right, so I just finished playing with Eric and James, filmed first practice rounds. I'm probably not gonna talk too much. I just need to do a practice round. I'm very, very tired. A lot of travel today, but I do not feel good after that. So I'm not gonna go hard, but I'm gonna practice. Maybe it's only 10 holes, maybe it's 12 holes. I don't really know, but if like everything just feels really bad, we're gonna stop. But we're just gonna try to get a couple holes in and uh, let my wife know when to come back. I think it was luckily like a shorter course. So this will help me practice a little bit of touch, which I desperately need after today. I still need to kind of figure out a lot of how these discs are flying and make sure that I'm playing them well. I didn't feel like I got a lot of good practice, focused a lot on filming, so now it's kind of gonna be chill practice time. And I always forget this, but we are at the uh, Prodigy Presents Waco Disc Golf Pro Tour event. I think those two things, like you have to say as like a player before you play or before you do practice run. So, a little headwind on hole one, I'll put it through the gap. A2 into headwinds, good to know. A little bit short, but much better. <clears throat> Give it a shot, buddy. This one was really good. I think we're going to try the FD1 again. Hmm. It's a really good shot, too. Well, obviously not because it hit that, but maybe a little more flex. That's better. Nice and smooth. Much better. Base envy, par four, four forty. Oh, it's so inside. Flip. Oh, we're playing for a four. I'm afraid of that gap. I think. That's it. That works. Be up here, vintage disc golf. Nisha. Well, I think it's one of those like fun things. Straight up there, I think we're going to cherry it. Just flat at it. I nearly forgot if I need a cherry and a pack finder or what. Because I think these two fly pretty close. <clears throat> Out of it. Dude. That's pretty comparable. I wonder if I like the putter. I 
I think I like the putter, honestly. It's interesting playing with guys that you look up to. One of the cool things is we were playing some holes and I didn't feel like I was significantly behind them distance-wise, which is really cool. And obviously I look up to them and like, hey, they're throwing mids, but sometimes it's just preference. Like, this for me might be an envy because I like throwing that low, driven, and hard. Whereas these mids, I'll either sky it or get a little more out of control, so I don't really know. Because the second couple shots were really good. First one I just pulled over, I just need to stay over it a little more. Just a bit outside circle two. Oh! Ooh. Hey, at least you learned that now. Clear your spot first. That's uh, still a little bit right or left, but that's in. Yeah, I honestly felt like I threw this MV low and the MV is parked, so I think for me, it's probably this, you know? But I still have my own game to trust. So I might need to like get my own practice rounds first before I play with other people. Sometimes I still don't trust myself as much as I should. Like, I'm a pretty good disc golfer, you know? Even though I'm tired, like, it's okay. And I need to really, like, throw the shots that I want to throw. And just, like, trust that. Because it is easy to get influenced by other people. So easy, especially ones that you, like, like I said, look up to and you think are a lot better than you. I mean, I really feel like getting out of these wooded holes, just like the next five or six, even par, it's not gonna win me the tournament at all but I wouldn't be mad about it. And so I could very easily pressure myself, hey, get one, get two. I just need to be chill about it and uh, trust it'll be fine. So this one goes down the hill. This is hole six. Like I wanna play as best I can. And I think the last couple of tournaments, like winning scores was like nine under average, maybe 10 under. So if I shoot for four or five, which I can get all on like the open holes, it'll be fine. I don't mind the backhand here. I think I'd have to really kind of smack a forehand with my zone, and I've been really throwing them into the ground. I think I've been getting too over my toes instead of staying on my toes, but better like weight transfer. I still think I like the back end though. This disc, I think, I keep thinking it's gonna flip for me. I think it's just gonna glide. So just put it on the right line through the middle of that gap. <sighs> Pretty close. Still need it to be a little bit righter, but that's a really good shot. That's down there for a putt. Just need to get that. My, I've been leaking those Anheuser's a little wide and they keep them tighter. Go in. Money. What beautiful green grass. So, it's good to know the zone. If I just throw it kind of hard and flat to slight hyzer, bullseye. Great shot. I think it's a marvel. My actual shot. What did I first do? Oh, a little high. Definitely need a little more turn on it. There we go. Awesome. To me, honestly, I think if I treat all these like bonuses and just like try to get out of there with a par after throwing a good tee shot, like obviously trying to throw the best shot every time, but I think in these woods, if I'm like, hey, get a ton of pars from holes like, what is it, four to 12 or 13, that's only half the course. I still have half the course to really attack. And these ones, obviously I'm gonna try to attack as best I can, but I'm the lowest rated player in the field. So mindset shift is just kind of to chill out and enjoy it and show people what I can do, because I know I have the skills to play out here. But if I'm stressing about playing out here, I'm not gonna show it off. And that was really displayed on those main channel practice round videos that I filmed with Eric and James. I was so flustered from all the travel of getting in. I got upgraded in the rental car, which is fun, but it's just been three really travel heavy days while still getting a lot of content up and kind of sacrificing some sleep for that. So I'm excited for tonight to get that sleep that I need. But man, it's fun to play solo sometimes. Especially when I know I'm gonna be playing and filming with a lot of people. A part of me thinks I should be going for this on the forehand. I know my forehand isn't that good, so I think I'm gonna just keep trying to do the birdie play. I might honestly throw a zone out there or something. Uh, maybe envy. But I kinda wanna try that forehand, see if I can get the, the eagle, because I think it's like 420. The little downhill, and you can actually see it off the tee, which I'd never seen on coverage. No! I come out of that one really, really. It's actually a birdie still. That's good. Not great. We'll try one. We'll try two eagles. Pharaoh and Emperor. Drift. Oh man, that was really close. 
That could do it too. Get to the edge and skip. That's a look, I think. I might, I might try to work at that more because I'm honestly not crazy, crazy confident on this gap anyways right now. I'm gonna try to get maybe one or two more rounds in before I actually play for the tournament at this course. But yeah, we'll see. Just absolutely cannot be hitting this early. Oh no. I tried to keep a tight Anheuser and I did. That just might be a tough third shot now. This would be a tough one to five. Like not the end of the world. And especially like I bought myself the ability to five this because of that shot, which is nice. Or the last birdie that I got. But we can't be thinking like that. You know, we can't be thinking like that. So this shot got pretty hard because of that shank job. So now we're 280. So I think I'm gonna try to throw a marble. This is like a practice one, just in case I hit early and kick left. I wanna get some practice out here. Just centering this gap. Hmm. Came out of it too hard. That wasn't a terrible shot, but it was not a good shot. Much better. Much better. I don't know why it went higher, but line hit was much better. Oh. Much better Annie, but really bad shot overall. Good to know that I can't pull through on that tight anhyzer. No, I just need to do it correctly. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? I should have definitely done that. Ah, I'm not trusting my forehand like I need to. The back end didn't feel good, and I just kind of sent it because we're filming this, so hopefully. No, thank you though. Not me. You got a putt for the four. This would be a really sad bogey to take, but I deserve it with all the shots, so. I don't even have a putt for the four, honestly. Unless I throw this in. Dang. Not bad. Five. Back to one over. Or one under. I have to be okay with that, you know? Take your medicine. This is where that good forehand got. Unfortunately, not really gonna have a good eagle look. Unless I can scuba it in. Nice eagle. No matter where I finish today, I'm not gonna be mad about my performance, because that's not the point of today. That's it. Oh no. I juiced it. Oh wow, I came out early. No more second shots. <laughs> One shot from here on out. Just kind of went straight forever, right? I thought it'd be right there. Oh, it is right there. It's kind of in the middle of nothing. All right, well, it's just snow then. That's fun. Ow. Ooh. So thorny. Nice. Okay, don't juice it on this hole. Not even close. All right, this one's fun. It's like 520 down to the right. Tough hole. Okay, it looks like that's not the dish for that hole. I did that same exact thing earlier. Try a forehand. Oh, that could be it. That's pretty good. That's a dynasty. I might, that might be the play here, honestly. I have to practice that a couple more times, but looking at dynasty has been really nice for me this week so far. Well, the two times I've done it, both have been really nice. And like easy flip. No way. Oh, that felt really good on my hand. How do you not hit that? That's a great question. Just throw those up and then you do that. Oh, that's so bad. I decided to just play from this dynasty. I need to give it a little more turn or just not hit that branch. Um, we're done with score today. It's not helpful for me at all. This guy behind me now and I started rushing a bit. Get lazy. Whereas this is a really easy four from there. Little, really easy is a little generous, but nice, classic. So what happens in your rush, folks, don't rush. It's much easier when you get down there than it looks on coverage. Or like, much more open, I guess, I don't know. Shorter. But that first shot, all the ceilings are so low. Oh, 
Oh no. Ew. It's actually not terrible, but way too high. We're gonna do best shot on the back, on the back nine. <laughs> don't fade, baby, don't fade. Hit something. Oh, that'd be close. Maybe just too much fade. I'm just trying to balance, like, not throwing too, too much, which I do tend to do slightly, but I also have a pretty high tolerance for the amount of throws I can do. I'm trying to balance that alongside getting practice and doing content. I don't trust that I'll get it right on my first time. So it's gonna be a little like a learning curve, like everything else, so. All right, we hit pretty early. So we're a good ways back. I just wanna throw this, cause this is definitely a place I can see myself in the tournament. Perfect. That's so good, dude. Oh, dang, tree. Solid drive, but really landed in the wrong spot. I need that thing to be lower. money honestly good to know that even this tree is not bad like I thought this was edge of circle but I mean this was gonna be like under the pin maybe a little past actually so solid that's a good birdie save from back there oh it's a little deep well wow. good shot though no oh, nice one That is atrocious. Oh, that might be the disc. That's the luckiest disc ever. Getting a little shanky in my old age. I'm gonna try MV. All right, both not great. We got one more woods hole after this, but this brings us to, well, we're back to even, I believe, after that last one. Something like that, however we're scoring it, but. Just outside the circle. Really lucky shot. Oh. Don't shank your putts, dude. Just commit. Gotta not think that it's a putt for birdie. I just gotta think it's a putt. I think that'll help. And then obviously reps. A lot more reps for the rest of the season. I forgot to record my first shot, got through the gap, but then I kicked the tree branch that was after the gap somehow. <clears throat> that's not all the way down there, but that's pretty money. All right, kicking way left over here. <clears throat> that's great. No, dangler! <clears throat> Still better than the other one. Stay high, dang. This will be the last hole. If we ace it, we got to even. Either way, we're chilling. Short and high side, we got a putt though. And last one, we'll go FD1. I like that a lot. Nice little downhill 35 footer. Marvel's Park, let's end this thing with the birdie.